Oh, look on the stars. That's <laughs> how so I started last time's podcast. Oh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to just smile and laugh and be in the presence of all of that, all the abundance and the love and the joy and the happiness and the goodness that he has for us, resting in him every day with him, every day, every day. Lord, let it be your way. Hello, hello, hello. This is Sarah Beth Carl. I need to change my last name. I got married and that's my old last name. Hasn't been official yet. We're waiting while well, I'm waiting. I'm not sure what my husband feels about it, but we're waiting until the baby comes and we're going to do it all at once. So I'm praying about that. Let it be your way, Lord, your timing, because your timing is perfect. Thank you, Lord. Um, this is the change with him, big H, capital H, real raw redeemed podcast. And I am Sarah, your host. It is such a pleasure to be here with you. I love this time that we get to connect, to converse, to share, and just trust. And I pray a prayer that you hear from the man upstairs, that you invite him in, that you let him in to open up your heart and open up to your mind, open up your mind to invite him inside, to live, to dwell within you, and to just reach you, to reach you and those places within you that you feel scared, that you feel stuck, that you feel stopped, that you feel blocked. And I pray this today in Jesus name. Today, we're going to be talking about prayer. And we just went finished going live inside my monthly membership in and holy, holy, holy Lord God almighty. Ooh, I like saying worthy as the lamb. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. That monthly, so the monthly membership in is where we dive deep within and, and I just allow him to speak through me and allow him to just let me riff on what he shows me, what he places on my heart that I know is for me, is for you, is for us to take our relationship with him deeper into the truth of who he is. And I love our monthly membership. If you want to be a part of it, there's a link in the show notes. It's $88 a month. It will always be $88 a month because that's the number that he showed me. And I, I don't, I don't go against what he shows me. I trust in it. I believe in it. And I'm like, okay, Lord, <laughs> this is your will and your way. That is the way I pray. And so it's the space that he allowed me to create to really dive deeper into the things that he shows me, reveals to me that are for me and for you. And then I trust that are for us. So there's a link in the show notes if you want to join in. It's our monthly membership, $88 a month. I'd love to see you in there so we can go there. We can go to those places and we can go there with each other. We can support each other, encourage each other, motivate each other and share with each other. Look at what God did. Whoa, look at this win. Check out this win. Or this is where I'm I'm calling in a win. This is what I'm praying for with him. Will you pray with me and inviting others to pray with you? Powerful prayer warriors to just come together and pray together, connect with each other. That is what this is all about. So I invite you into that. And I wanted to share with you today. Uh, this is we we dove way into this today, inside in. So we're not gonna get as deep into it. Whew, but I invite you into that space. Um, there is a course that I'm taking with my church. It's called Rooted. And that is what I am praying for this year. My word is more. And when I was making my vision board, I was a little scared, honestly, while I was painting in the letters of the word more. Green, my favorite color, because it's just the color of nature. And a lot of us, we experience connection to God through nature. When we're out in nature and when we're in the stillness and presence of his creation, whoo. Oh my gosh, take me to the mountains. <sighs> Allow me to feel small so I can get the right perspective on the size of my problems. And that is where I feel that the most. It is where I know that he is, he's with me and he loves me and he supports me and he sees me because I get out of the craziness and chaos that is of the world and in the world. When I get to nature, the world is silence. It's like the world is gone and I'm in his creation and it is so majestic. It is so, <sighs> I can take a deep breath, a life giving breath. And that is the one, God is the one who gives us breath. It is his breath in our lungs. And when we wake up every day and we feel the breath that we take, we can immediately get into praise. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the gift that today is. I, I have no idea what's going to happen 
but I trust that you're going to be with me through all that happens. I trust that you are in support of me. I trust that you were with me. I trust that you were guiding me. I trust that you were leading me. I trust that you were directing me. And that's how I begin each day is with praise. And as we get into this today, what I just heard my pastor say is what I'm going to share with you today is the acronym of pray. And I think I've done another episode on this. I actually probably did because I was like, hmm, you know, the deja vu feeling that it feels familiar, but this is a different experience. And again, it's when we dive deep into inside our monthly membership in, whew, you got to get in that if it's a space for you, if you're feeling this nudge, this calling to, uh, but pray the acronym is the P it begins with me. And that's, that's from him, not me. It begins with me. I, I oftentimes hear from him and he is speaking to me about himself because everything is to glorify him, to honor him, to worship him, to look to him. And so a lot of times when I write, I write the word him with a capital H or I write me with a capital M. When I'm speaking about me, myself, and I, it's always a lowercase because he is much greater than I. And so that big M is all about him. It's me. And he says, come to me. And there will be a big M when I'm writing to him. And he's saying, speaking to me, hey, you, 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 yes, you, me, yes, you come to me. And I go, Oh, okay. I'm going to do this thing. Right. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what it's going to look like when you walk me through it. It might be sticky. It might be messy, but I trust you with it. And so a lot of times things come through me like this that are for him. And I think some people get skewed of this. I shared a post on, on social media recently about a little sticky situation that <laughs> I got in. Someone was like, oh, so how long have we been following Jesus? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hello, enemy. I see you. I know what you're trying to do. This is an attack. This is a spiritual attack and I'm not about that. So I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We close the door and we block and we continue on. And a lot of times you'll do that when you're stepping into your truth and you're speaking into truth, people will come after you and we can use the power of prayer to say, hey, you, <laughs> you sit over there. You spirit who's trying to derail me. You spirit who's trying to attack me because of my belief. Uh, uh, this is not a religion thing. This is a relationship thing. And I am protected by the power of Jesus and our relationship. And I surrender to him. I give it all to him. And I paint his blood over the door of my, my home, my heart, the walls of my heart over my family. And guess what spirit you need to pass on over. You need to continue on, go on and get lost. And that's what it's like when we're living with Jesus. We just live in that every day. Doesn't mean it's a perfect way. Uh-uh, not today. <laughs> we never will be. And if we ever say that we are, if we ever decree or declare that we are, we are in the presence and spirit of the enemy because he wants us to believe that thing. It's up to us. It's all about us. And we're perfect. And look at me. And I have this thing. And don't you want it to? And I can sell it to you, right? Highest bidder. Do I hear a million dollars? Do I hear $5 million? Do I hear a billion dollars? And it's like we, we claw at each other and we attack each other to try to get the thing that doesn't sound satisfy and isn't the thing that we need. We need Jesus. His soul satisfies us. Our spirit longs for him. It was created for him to be in a relationship with him, to live with him, breathe with him, walk with him, talk to him, and listen to him. Not just talk or speak at him and go, hey, <laughs> Hey, 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 man, this is what I want. Okay, cool. You got it. All right. I'm going to be on my way. And that is what it's like when we pray. So when we step into praise, we need, or when we step into pray, we begin with praise. So if prayer is an acronym, the P stands for praise. We want to begin this way. We want to give thanks. We are living a Christian life. We're living a life of followers of Jesus and knowing that it's all about Christ. So we thank Christ. We thank him for what he's done. We do not look back and say, oh, look at all the things of the past and dwell on it. We look back and we give him gratitude and thankfulness and gratefulness for the things that he's brought us through. We look at him and we praise him too. Lord, look what you brought me through. Look what, look what you've done. Look what you've done. And we make it about him. We don't make ourselves, we don't make it about ourselves as us being the one. We make it about him as his being, as him being the one. Everything in a Christian day should be look at the way. Look at the way God did this. Look at the way he brought me through this. Look at what he did with this. I didn't see how that thing was going to have a twist. I really didn't. I thought I was stuck with it, but look at how he twisted. Look at how he shaped it. Look at how he molded it. Look at how he transformed it. Look at God. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> and when we do that, when we give glory and honor to him, we're praising him. 
we're thanking him, we are honoring him, and we're recognizing him and his incredible miraculous works. And we're saying, look, God, this is not a workspace thing. This is a relationship thing. I can't, I can't earn it and I don't deserve it, but you have blessed me with it, Lord, because you are a good, good father. You are a heavenly father. It's not mother nature or source or universe. Screw that. All of that is his creation. It's father, God, not mother nature. I love that. My pastor said that I had to share that. And I was like, Ooh, you go, you go. <laughs> and he, we, I, I ask him every day, Lord, I want to go. I want to go where you send me to the broken and the weary, to the hopeless and forgotten, to all will know your name. Because one day we're all going to know his name. One day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And I'm like, what are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Right? Like do it now. Live in that now. Live in the presence of his abundance and his honor and his glory. Now you don't have to wait. Because you might not get to you might not get today, tomorrow. Yeah? You don't know if you're gonna wake up. That's that's not promise, that's not guarantee. You don't know when when it's gonna be your time, when your little ticker is gonna time off and you're gonna sign off the clock. We don't know. So why not live in it now? You know? So that is what we get to pray when we when we pray, we praise and we give glory and we give honor to him, recognition to him and say, Lord, this all is for you. Let my life be of you, to you, through you, for you. Let the be an open expression and representation of your love, your kindness, your gentleness, your patience, your goodness, your self-control. Hey, that is one I think a lot of us are working on. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fruits of the spirit, self-control. <laughs> Do you really need to buy that thing? Well, <laughs> Lord help me. But when we pray, we begin with praise. And that's the P in pray. The next one is R. Whew, a lot of us want to just skip over R and we we want to let A lead the way. We're going to get to A in just a second, but a lot of us want to skip over R because it stands for repentance. And I love this because repentance is remembrance. It's remembrance of our sin, but not to shame us, to take it to him, to say, Lord, this is what I'm struggling with. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I chose. I gave into temptation. I know that that is sin. And a lot of us grew up believing that we, our, our identity is in us. Our sin is in the shame. It is in the blame. It is in the way we say, look at them. Don't look at me. It's in the way we choose to not accept responsibility. So repentance is accepting responsibility and saying, Lord, I did this thing. I went this way. I believed in this thing. I said this thing and I hurt hurt others when I did this. And I'm sorry. I hurt you, Lord, when I did this. And I'm sorry please forgive me, Lord. And it's coming to him, asking him to see us, trusting that he already sees us and knows us, but he's not going to force us. He's not going to force us to repent. He's not going to force us to tell him about our deep, dark, dirty secrets and the things that we've done. Uh, but repentance is a powerful part of prayer because it's a part of prayer that positions our heart and opens our heart to get to A. And a lot of us go straight to A. So don't let A lead the way. That is the moral of today. Okay. That's why it's the title of this episode. Don't let A lead the way. But a lot of us do that. And we do that today. We treat God like a genie in a bottle, like Mr. Santa Claus. Here's my wish list. Here's my Christmas list. Now give it to me. Give it to me now. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to shout out to Amazon. I'm going to throw it on a credit card because I want it. And I want it my way. And a lot of us live that way. But don't let A lead the way. Let P, the praise, and R lead the way. And and don't skip over our trust in our trust in the power of our trust in the power of repentance, because it begins with re and re means again. So return to him. It means to repent, return to him, surrender to him, talk to him, tell him about the places that you didn't win yet and trusting that you are going to win when you live with him, but you've got to let him in and repentance is letting him in. It's telling him about all of you. It's letting him into all of you. If you had a best friend, you and, and you really wanted their love and their support and, and their their sound quality advice, you can't leave things to demise. You can't leave things out. You can't omit things. You've got to tell them everything. If someone's going to truly step in and support you and love you, encourage you, motivate you, and be there for you, they've got to know about you. And that's why the R is so powerful and so potent and so important because it lets him in to all of you, to the sticky messes, to the dark places and the little corners where you've tried to tuck and hide things away. It lets God into those spaces in that way. And you can invite him to say, help me. 
help me clean up this mess. I got myself stuck in this mess and that is repentance. A lot of times we match it and mirror it with confession and we're like, I don't like to confess. Ain't nobody need to be up in my business. Yeah. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, who do you think you are? Well, who do we think God is? God is the one who knows about all of our business. So repenting is just telling him, honoring him. I trust you. I know that, you know, you're not going to come into this stickiness and this mess that I've made and shame me and blame me. You're not going to point your finger at me and stick it in my face like look what you've done today you're not gonna do that because you're a loving god and so i choose when i pray to repent and come to you today and say lord i effed up i messed up look at this i'm so frustrated by this because i know better than this lord and i know that you want more from me i want more from me lord but i got stuck with this thing look at what i did And express your frustration, express your emotion, express your connection to the shame that you're feeling and the blame that you're carrying and saying, God, I don't want to carry this blame anymore. I hate that I do this, Lord, but I I seem to always do it. I seem to always turn to it. I seem to return to it time and time again, even though I know it doesn't help me win. And God, I want to win and surrender to him and say, God, I know the only way I can win with you. Can you help me through? Can you help me through this? Can you show me a different way? Can you give me power today to go through this temptation, to overcome it, to say no to it, to say F you to it, to say, get out of here, Satan, get out of here, enemy. You're trying to get me off track because you know that God has a good path for me. So not today. And that is the power of repentance is laying it down to him, surrendering it to him, giving it to him and not hiding anything from him. He already knows everything about you. He already completely loves you and cares about you and is in support of you and your goodness and you living the abundant blessed life that you were created and designed to live. And he he wants to support that within you, but you've got to let him into all the stickiness and all the mess. And that is the power of our repentance. You got to say, God, I messed up. I effed up. Here's what I did. I'm owning up. I'm, I'm taking responsibility. No wonder responsibility starts with R2 saying, look, Lord, I did this thing. And you know, here I am taking responsibility. I don't want to do this anymore. Lord, I need you. I need your help. I need your strength. I need your support. I need you today. That's repentance. It's not, he's not going to sit there and meet you with a finger being shaken in your face or like a little nun who takes your freaking ruler and slaps your knuckles and is like, bad, bad. You're going to hell. She's not, God's not a nun. God is not going to do that. That is a human thing that's done. That is not a godly thing that's done. That's not the God we serve. So when we're, when we're honoring the R in prayer and pray, we're trusting him that he's not going to slap our knuckles and spank our little butts and put us in timeout and have a stick our nose in the wall and go think about what you did. That is not him. That is the craziness of the people in this world. That is not our God. It is not the God we serve. But a lot of us think about that when we think about repentance, we express it through, through, what's that word? Uh, confession. I think about like a nasty Catholic priest who's doing ungodly things under his robe and the little wooden box that you're supposed to go confess to and talk to. No, thank God we don't have to do that. Thank God that through his son, Jesus, we go straight to him through the power of the Holy Spirit. He listens to us. He he translates for us. And he says, here, Lord, this is what they're bringing to you. And this is what I know you're going to do with it. You're going to do great and mighty things with it. Whew. That is the power of repentance. It's not confession. That's a different, different energy. And repentance is just connection. It's saying, God, here's where where I've messed up. Here's what I've done. I trust you with it. And I know that you're going to do great and mighty things with it. But you're not going to force it from me. You're not going to take it from me. It's in the beauty of me giving it through, through the power of repenting to you, to trusting you with it, that you are going to make it something brand new. You're going to make it a new creation, Lord. You're going to take this mess and you're going to turn it into mightiness. You're going to take this, this nastiness and you're going to turn it into greatness. That's what you're going to do, Lord. And I'm trusting you with that. And so I love repenting to you because I love telling you, hey, hey, God, I effed up. I messed up. I need your help. And I trust that you're going to make this great because I tried to do it my own way and I made it a freaking mess. So Lord, (laughs) have fun with this. I got a lot of it for you. If you need more, there's more too. There's more coming and more on its way. But we get to tell him that each and every day when we pray and we remember our, we don't skip over it. We don't rush over it. We don't run through it. We're like, no, we're not like a little footballer. It's like run through and just score a touchdown. No, we sit in it and we sit with him in it and we trust him with it. So that's the R. 
where we are losing time. Okay. Uh, A, a lot of us go straight to A. You do not go straight to A. Don't let A lead the way. A is ask. A is taking our list to him. And a lot of us treat him like he's a genie in a bottle or Santa Claus. We take our list to him, our little to-do list, task list, and task list. That's hard. Task list and checklist. And we're like, okay, Lord, here's what I want. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for the time. Thanks for the period of time. Gotta go. <laughs> no, 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 no. When you begin your prayers with pray, with praise and repentance, it postures your heart and puts it in a position to then be able to ask and ask in alignment and in conjunction, in accordance with his will. You begin to ask for things differently. You don't just selfishly ask, God, this is what I want you to do. Okay, thanks. Toodaloo. You don't do that. You ask for things. And the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. And we're called to pray in the spirit. So when we begin with P and, we, and then we follow with R and then we get to A and we don't let A lead the way. We don't go straight to A. We don't go straight to asking God, God, can you do this for me? Thank you. Then we ask for things in the right way posture. We ask for things in the right frame of mind. We're asking with an open heart and an open mind. And when we don't receive exactly what we've asked for, we see that we've received better than we've asked for because we've asked in the right energy, frequency, and way. So don't let A lead the way, but A is for ask. And when you go through P and R and get to A, you can ask in such a way that you're asking in alignment with the will of the Father. The Father has good, good, good plans for you. He has plans to bless you, plans for an incredible future for you. He desires for you to experience his goodness. But when you're asking things only because out of your selfishness in your own ways, you're going to experience delay. But when you ask in such a way that you are asking for his will, his way, and saying, Lord, it's your will and your way that are higher than mine. I don't want this, this bottom of the barrel crap I'm asking for anyway. I truly don't. What I want is your blessing, your goodness, your abundance, your will, your way, your strength today. Day, Lord, let it be today, right here, right now, in this presence, in this, in the essence of your presence, Lord. And when you get to A in such a way, you can ask in the essence of his presence and your prayers and your asks become different than those in the past. And in the past, I've asked and asked and asked and asked and asked. And then I got mad that I asked and I got mad that, that God didn't deliver immediately, that he didn't give it to me in the way that I wanted it. And it was all about me. And when we ask in such a way, we've gone through P and through R to get to A, we're asking in such a way that we're, we're saying, Lord, let this be for you to you, to glorify you and to honor you and to worship you. When this comes through and I'm trusting that it does and it will, because I've asked in such a way, Lord, I'm going to get to say, look at what my God did. Look at what God did. Can you believe it? And we will believe it. And we will rejoice in it. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Yeah, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we get to wake up every day. And when we pray, when we begin with praise, and then we go through repentance, and then we get to ask, we get to say, oh, God, look at that. Look at that. Look at what you did. Woo. Look at what you're going to do. Look at what I'm believing through. Look at what I'm standing for because I'm standing on your truth and your word and your power and your ways, Lord, and making it about what it's meant to be about. All glory, all honor to him. And then when we get to why, when we're done asking for all the things we want, when we're done asking and giving them our little checklist of, hey, Lord, could you do this? Cool. Thanks. I love you. See you later. And then we get to why we yield Remember that this is about a relationship. It's not about a religion. It's not about any religion. It's about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. And we know, we trust, and we believe that he did, he, he, did, he died and gave his life to us so that we could live with him forever, that he died and rose again. And we believe in the death, burial, and resurrection. And we say that he is my Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, all things to him, all glory and honor to him. And we spend time with him in his word and in his truth and in his scripture. And we say, Lord, let it be your ways. Let it be yours. Let it be yours. In Jesus' name, amen. And we say that time and time again. And we say that through all things and with all things. That he is the author, the creator, and the redeemer of our lives. We get to live with him inside. And the power of his spirit dwells within us. And it is whoo, 
hoo, hoo. I, there's no other way I'd want to live. There's no way I could live. Not after living with it. Uh-uh. You could, you could not pay me enough. There's not enough money on the face of this planet or earth to say, Hey, would you take this amount of money if you, or live with Jesus? I, I take Jesus every time. He, he doesn't have a price tag on him. Thank God. And he doesn't place price tags on us either. A lot of us have placed our own price tags on us. It is time to remove that and to say, Lord, in your eyes, I am priceless. Thank you for that. <laughs> but that is that is what it's like to get to why, to yield to him, to listen to him, to understand this is about relationships. So it's not only about speaking to him, it's about hearing from him and letting him speak to us. It's about yielding. It's about merging. It's about surrendering. It's about zipping our lips. Stop talking and understanding we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. It's about understanding we're meant to be listening twice as much as we're speaking. So when we get to pray, don't skip over this today. Don't omit this. Don't think you're done because you got to A and you asked and you gave him your list. Listen to him. Let him in. Today I went on a prayer walk. I didn't take my dog. I didn't take my music. I didn't take my headphones. I usually listen to a podcast or worship music or I'm busy talking on the phone, uh, using that time to like catch up with a friend or someone that I haven't called back in forever that I'm like, oops, I've been meaning to call you back. Uh, but I get distracted with that. And so today it was just God and I, no headphones, no, no podcasts, no dog. It was a little awkward if I'm going to be honest with you. I felt awkward. I was like, what do I do with my hands? But I prayed in this way. I gave him praise. I repented. And then I asked him. Mostly I asked to hear from him. And then I listened. And man, he revealed to me the most incredible things. We, we shared those revealings inside in my monthly membership. And where we go live weekly and we connect, we support each other. And it was just so magical. It was beautiful. It was pure. The essence of it was just, it was unreal. And that's the power of why is it's merging. I think about merging onto a freeway. We yield, we get into speed in conjunction with, in connection with the flow. If you think about how, how traffic are on a freeway flows, how the cars flow and how they go and they go the same direction. He wants to get into that flow with you, in that zone with you, in that lane with you, in that car with you, and, and just take the time to, to listen. The why is for yield. It's to surrender. It's to listen to him. It's to let him in. It's to open up your ears, open up the eyes of your heart and let you hear from him. Let him pour in his wisdom to you, his grace unto you, his mercy unto you, and let you be filled with the peace of his spirit and allow you to experience and hear it. Allow you to know he's with you. He loves you. He's carrying you through everything that you're afraid of going through or that you are going through and you don't see a way through. Yielding is so powerful because it's hearing from him. It's you zip in your lips and let him speak to you, letting his words come through. He always lets your words through. He hears every prayer. He counts every tear. And it's you doing the same for him loving him and honoring him, that he is with you. He will always be with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So when you yield to him, you get to listen to him. You receive sound advice from him. You get to know from him. You get to be led by him, guided by him, put your faith and trust in him because he's going to speak to you and he's going to tell you what to do. And you may be so frustrated. Well, Lord, I never hear from you. Well, are you listening? In what way are you listening? Because he knows how you hear and he knows how you want to be spoken to. And there are times where I hear from him or I just see a word and I have this connection and, and he redefines it. He makes this connection. Like for me today, it was hope. I was like, I don't like the word hope because in the past I've attached it with hopeless and experiences where I felt that or I believed I was that. And I'm like, oh, that's identity. If I think I am a thing, that's identity. That's not a feeling. Because a feeling is just a feeling. But when it becomes I am, it becomes identity. And I took that to him. And he said, no, Sarah, it's assurance. My assurance is your insurance. That's my definition of hope. You've made it mean something different from what it actually means. And I went, oh. <sighs> oh. 
A lot of times when I hear from the Lord, I end with, oh. Because he he gives it to me how I need it. Like, boom. I'm like, oh. (laughs) Wow. Wow. You're good. (sighs) And then I can exhale and I can release because I've heard a thing. A thing of truth. A thing that is his power, his presence, and his essence. So remember the why for yield when you pray. And understand and and I know I'm praying for you today and I'd love to see you inside in our monthly membership, but remember this acronym each and every day when you make time to pray, praise, repent, ask, and yield. I love you guys.